and welcome. You're watching How to Head. I'm Antonina Antosha with UATV. The diplomatic ties between Ukraine and Korea started in 1992. Since then, the interstate cooperation has been steadily developing in many years. As of July 1, 2019, the total amount of direct Korean investment into Ukraine's economy made up about $202 million. So how can Ukraine and the Republic of Korea expand their trade, economic and cultural cooperation even more? To discuss this, we're welcoming to our studio today Mr. Ki Cheng Kwan. He's the ambassador of the Republic of Korea to Ukraine. Hello and thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Likewise, great to have you here. So, um, congratulations on your appointment. Uh, you told me that you wanted to be appointed the ambassador uh, of Korea in Ukraine. Why did you choose Ukraine and did your expectations turn out to be true? Yes, well, first of all, I, um, well, uh, I, I, I came to know that there is a vacancy for South Korean ambassadorship for Ukraine. Mm -hmm. I immediately applied for that because I know that previously as a Korean diplomat, Ukraine is a very important country strategically and diplomatically. Not only that, I have mm. very good image about Ukraine. That's why I applied for that. Mm -hmm. But luckily, I was designated, appointed as new ambassador of Korea. I'm so happy about, about it. Okay. Uh, once you came to live in Ukraine, did your expectations come true? Yeah, sure. Or Actually, it's more than my, my expectations. Well, Ukraine is uh, well, not only a beautiful country and also beautiful people. It has excellent I mean, human resources. Not only that, you have uh, the um, advanced technology in the area of aerospace industry and also the um, defense industry as well. Mm -hmm. There are or other, some other more advanced I mean, technologies in some other areas. And many Korean companies would like to have uh, some technical cooperation with those Ukraine companies. Ukraine has many good assets that can be utilized. Mm -hmm. That simply put, I mean, Ukraine's potential was not fully utilized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, um, average Ukrainians know uh, the Republic of Korea by, let's say, technical side, because we are mm -hmm. all using devices created mm -hmm. by Samsung, mm -hmm. LG, then we have uh, Kia Motors, cars, Hyundai, yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. What else besides this mm -hmm. should an average Ukrainian know about the Republic mm -hmm. of Korea? Well, certainly in the, in the world, South Korea is very advanced in terms of technology. We have the world famous companies like uh, Samsung, LG, Hyundai, Kia. Mm -hmm. But also we have very uh, strong cultural assets. Now more and more Ukrainians are enjoying uh, K-drama, Korean drama, and mm -hmm. K-pop. It's called K-pop, uh, Korean pop. That's and music, right? Yeah, yeah, the music. And okay. also K-movies, and also Taekwondo, even the Korean language. Many uh, Ukrainians are studying Korean language in the Korean Education Center in mm -hmm. Kiev. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot more to show to Ukrainians. Mm -hmm. Well, now that we've uh, clarified what an average Ukrainian knows about the Republic of Korea, what do people in the Republic of Korea know about Ukraine? Well, We're not fact, talking about you, because clearly know, you are knowledible enough, yes, but right. what about I understand average? your question. Uh, generally speaking, when South Koreans look at Ukraine, they think of uh, they have a very good image. First of all, they think Ukraine is a very beautiful country and also the country where very beautiful people live. Mm -hmm. and, but the South Korean, generally speaking, do not, much about, do not know much about Ukraine. So the, one of my priority is to raise awareness among South Koreans about Ukraine and Ukraine culture. That is one of my priority work as an ambassador of Korea. Could I ask you how you plan to do that? In fact, uh, maybe um, there are several ways. One way would be that, uh, that the, we, we, if we can invite some famous television shows, uh, the, I mean, they come to here and then also they show some Ukrainian stuff, Ukrainian traditional stuff and also cultural assets, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, to publicize Ukrainian things to South Koreans. The, it, I mean, a uh, similar thing happened to Croatia. Mm -hmm. Korea, up until recent years, Korea, Croatia was not very much known to South Koreans. But somehow, uh, six or seven years ago, the, the one famous 
uh, South Korean famous entertainment program, they covered Ukrainian and sending out their actors. And then they had uh, some sort of the program, uh, the, they show the how beautiful Croatian is, mm -hmm. how much cultural assets, you, I mean, Croatians have. So it was a big hit. And since then, South Korean start to go to, uh, to Croatia. Nowadays, annually about 400,000 South Koreans go to Croatia as for tourist purposes. Well, Croatia is beautiful and so is Ukraine. So maybe yeah. <laughs> we could do something like that. <laughs> now, let's talk a little economics. Yeah. Uh, the, the Republic of Korea is one of the most important trading partners for Ukraine mm -hmm. in Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know uh, how, how, how big is the turnover between the two countries? Well, in fact, the, um, before uh, 2014, South Korea had a, a trade volume with Ukraine more than $2 billion. Mm -hmm. And at that time, the, about 20 South Korean companies were operate, operating there. Uh, however, since 2014, when the Ukraine has some political economic uh, difficulties, the trade volume and then also the number of Korean companies operating in Ukraine was reduced. Mm -hmm. But I think there are good signs. Ukraine economy is recovering. Ukraine uh, the, uh, recorded uh, the steady growth for the last three years. So, and then also the uh, there are South Korean companies are coming to Ukraine to find their, I mean, their partner, business partner in Ukraine, and also see the, op uh, the opportunities for investment. So I think uh, in the years to come, there will be a lot more chances for economic cooperation between the two sides. Which particular area in Ukraine, uh, I mean, of business or economy or finance could be interesting for Korean investors to allocate money for? Well, actually, there are many areas. First of all, the, the one uh, striking South Korean investment so far is that uh, in Mikulayev, uh, POSCO International, the trading company of POSCO Group, they invested $65 million in Mikulayev mm. and they constructed grain terminal. So they collect the grains from the uh, from Ukrainian farmers, and then they bring them to uh, to silos in Mikulayev, mm -hmm. and then they export those uh, grains to other countries. And another case is uh, investment case is uh, by the GS Construction. GS Construction is a very big Korean company, and then they made a contract with the Ukraine partner to construct a, uh, a solar panel electricity power plant. Mm -hmm. So the the construction is going on now and also to utilize uh, human resources of Ukraine. Samsung uh, Electronics have a research and development center here in Kiev. They are hiring uh, more than 600 uh, excellent Ukraine researchers, engineers. Most of them received the get a master's degree or doctoral degree here. Mm -hmm. So uh, I heard from the director of the, of the center, Korean, that uh, they are excellent engineers. They are very, very happy about the quality of their work. They are developing applications to be included in the Samsung mobile phones. Well, like I said, it, it would be very fascinating to have mm -hmm. an application on my personal mobile phone mm -hmm. um, made, created, and well sought mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. by a person that could be living next to me and mm -hmm. working for Samsung Electronics. Now, um, mm -hmm. in the 20th century, the Republic of Korea has achieved an economic miracle. Yes. How did that happen? Well, I think there are uh, several reasons for that, but I, I want to highlight maybe two or three points. First of all, South Korean governments take uh, the right policy and the, in the right time. That was, South Korea does not have much natural resources. The South Korea has only uh, uh, diligent human resources. Mm -hmm. So we, we uh, South Korean government at that time, since 1960s, they promoted industry deliberately through industrial policy. They provide, at that time, the, we didn't have uh, the uh, big companies, Samsung, Hyundai, they are all very, very small companies. Mm -hmm. So the government made, made a deliberate efforts to promote automobile industry, semiconductor, mm -hmm. shipbuilding, mm -hmm. etc. And now they, uh, they, those companies become a conglomerates, big companies that compete worldwide. That was the, on, the, on the part of the Korean government, we did a lot of work through industrial policy. That is a very important part for, for Ukraine because Ukraine can, 
can share those experiences. That's what I wanted to ask. Would it be appropriate for Ukraine to pick up on that experience? Because, I mean, we do have different geographical positions yeah, as countries. Yeah. We do have different mentality mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. the nation. However, some things might actually work. Mm -hmm. So would it be appropriate for Ukraine to pick up on let's say, uh, some parts of the sure. Korean experience? Sure, I think the, for, uh, generally speaking, for uh, one country to develop, there are, I mean, there are two ways. Either your government should promote industry, in particular manufacturing industry, through uh, industrial policy, or you have to attract a lot of foreign direct investments. Mm -hmm. The first, I mean, the I mean, gross model can be called Asian model, but the Japan was developed in that way. South Korea followed suit, and Taiwan the same. Mm -hmm. And the other other global, I mean, growth model, that is uh, the growth through foreign direct investment. The typical case is Singapore. So if we um, observe the, the in South, I mean, uh, East Asian, I mean, development model, Ukraine uh, can can make some, uh, I mean, useful, the, I mean, some insight you can get some insight or advices from the, the Asian economic miracle. Mm -hmm. That is the, uh, the information that I'd like to provide so that Ukraine can be a rich and strong nation in the futures to come. We're waiting for that. Mm -hmm. You've been uh, in Ukraine for six months now. Yeah. What is your favorite place here that you would recommend to any Korean coming to Ukraine? Well, I think Ukraine has uh, many, many places to show. Mm. And then I, well, the, I've, the, well, in certainly in, in Kiev, many uh, beautiful, I mean, uh, places, beautiful building, and so on. Um, well, maybe there is a city or a town that you uh, particularly like. Yes, liked. yes, right. And then I, I visited Odessa, I mm. mean, about one or two months ago. And in the night of Odessa, it was so beautiful. I know how, why Odessa was a uh, very I mean, famous resort city, mm -hmm. I mean, neighboring uh, Black Sea. So certainly Odessa is very highly recommendable. And then, uh, well, after two weeks, I'm supposed to visit, I mean, Lviv. This will be my first visit to Lviv. I heard so many good things about, about Lviv. That's why I was very much looking forward to visiting, visiting Lviv. Well, Lviv is absolutely amazing. I'm mm -hmm. sure you will have a wonderful mm -hmm. time. Thank you so much for coming to Thank our you. studio today. Thank you so much for this conversation. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you. Mm. That was Mr. Ki Cheng Kwan. He's the ambassador of the Republic of Korea to Ukraine. Thank you so much for watching Head to Head. Stay tuned with UATV for more.